the wheel demo. Okay, so we're going to throw our first project on the wheel. So you get a wheel, you want to have a bat, then it goes on these pins, and you want to have a piece of clay, probably about the size so it fits in your hand. Make sure it's round. You're going to be using a rubber rib, a pen tool, and a stick tool, and you probably should have access to a wire cutter, string cutter. Okay? You want a little bit of water? Don't need a lot because if you have too much, it spills on the floor. And a little sponge. You can put these here and there if you want, just to keep yourself from getting too wet. Okay. So the first thing we've got to do is put the clay on the wheel. Try and put it in the center. Squish it down, down a little bit. So we're going to center it. We're going to open, pull up the wall, shape it, and trim it. Okay. Make sure. So there are a lot of different steps. The first thing, though, is center. It. You want to be on your chair on the edge and you want to have your knees as close as you can. I'm really short so I can't get my knees too far but you, some of you guys will have your knees way up here. Okay. So first thing you do is get your sponge wet and push down. Now if you're right handed you want the wheel to go through your right fingers and if you're left handed you change the direction on the wheel and make it go through your left. That's the hand that's going to be on the outside. So you have your main hand and you have your helper hand. Your helper hand is always going to be rested, the elbow on your knee, and this one you should have your elbow in your body somewhere. Okay, so get wet. I'm going to come in first with this hand and let it just sort of push like that. Don't go too fast to begin with. And I'm going to get enough water in here and press down like that. See, my hands are locked together like this, and I'm just going to lean into it. If I press this way, the clay comes up. Don't press too hard, you'll take it off the wheel. If I press this way, the clay goes down. So I'm just sort of leaning into it. You're going to use your core strength, okay? So I hold my hands together, and I go faster and faster, and it should start to come to center. Because it's basically between a rock and a hard place, between this pressure and this pressure, and if they're even, there's nowhere it can go, okay? So I start just by doing that, and then I'm going to do what's called coning. I take my dominant hand over to the side, my thumbs are locked, and I press in and pull up at the same time, so it makes this kind of cone shape, okay? Then I'm going to push down, and just grab your thumb, and push down, okay? Make sure you've got lots of water on here all the time, so you're not hurting your hands, okay? So I'm going to do that a few times, it slides around, comes up a cone, and then back down. Remember, you want to begin with, because this is your very first project, an equal amount of, about the amount of clay that fits in your hand. Nice. So you start going faster and faster. Do it a couple more times, and eventually you'll get center. Make sure you keep this clean, okay, because you don't want to hurt your hands, and you don't want to make it some people would learn to center right away, and other people takes a couple weeks. In the long run, it doesn't make much difference. By the end, you just kind of hold it, and eventually it comes to center. Sometimes the bats chatter a little bit. Okay, so that's centering. Okay, every time you move your hands away, you do it really slowly, because if you move fast, you'll knock it off center. Okay? So we center. The next step is opening. I'm going to put my thumbs in the center and just make a little tiny dent so that's center. I don't want to drill down with my thumbs. I want to take this hand, which is my supporting hand, and my dominant hand, and I'm going to put my fingers together like this. So I'm going to, you can try it. Put your big finger on your big finger, your little finger on your thumb, and just make it go down. Okay? So I'm going to go down and stop to see if I've gone down far enough. I want to go down about three-fourths or half of the pin tool, no farther. So that's good. Okay, so make sure you measure. Okay, now I've opened, I've centered, and I've opened. Step two, then, I want to make a base. I don't want to make a really huge one, so I'm going to put my fingers back in this position. I'm holding this on the outside. This is resting there. My elbow's on my knee. Pull towards myself just a little bit. Push down. Okay. Now I'm going to take my sponge 
and compress the base. I want to do this to make sure that it's not going to crack. Okay, so now I've centered and I've opened. The first project you're going to make is a cylinder, and everything else we make, we're going to make from a cylinder. Okay, so I've centered, I've opened, and I've pulled and I've compressed. And I'm going to pull the wall. At this point, I'm going to turn my hands like this and bend my wrists. Before, I was just everything was sort of parallel to the bat. But now I'm going to turn over like this. I want to glide my outside hand right here at 3 o'clock, right there. It doesn't move. I don't want to do that. I want to just keep it here. Make sure some water on there. And I'm going to take the other hand and put it inside, cross my thumbs. And these fingers are going to pinch together and pull up the wall like that, just like that. Okay, it's really important that you grab the clay and pull very evenly, and when you get to the top, you just let go, like that. Okay, if you get to the top and you pinch, you make this kind of thing, all right? You can fix it by, by pushing my thumbs like this and then taking the sponge and rolling it. Okay? Now I've got a little more clay here than I do here, so I want to take the stick tool and take this to extension on my finger now and take a little, grab a little piece of clay out of it. That clay is going back in the mixer, so be good to it. Okay, then I'm going to put this finger here, under there, this here, and I'm going to pull straight up. We're going to make a cylinder. All right, and that clay comes up. Your goal for your first project is to make something that's actually cylindrical and is a little bit taller than it's wide. It's kind of hard to do. I can hold my fingers in different positions on the outside. I can pull going like that. I can pull with my knuckles. And I can pull with a sponge. That's up to you. You can also pull with a rib. Okay, so that's our first step. Okay, now just about done. All I need to do is take my sponge. I'm going to hold my wrist with this hand. Clean out the inside and compress a little more. Take one more pull here to make sure it's nice and even. Okay, and then I'm going to trim it. The first thing I want to do is, your top's usually always a little crooked, so we're going to take the pin tool, and it's extension here of my finger, I'm holding it like this, and I'm going to put this finger here, and this finger's the outside, and bring the pin tool right to my finger like that. I want to slant up at a 45 degree angle, pull pretty slow, Notice when I've been pulling, I went slower than when I was centering, and I just pulled that right off. Now I'm going to compress the lip. So I let it run through my fingers, and I take this sponge. The lip should be a little thicker than the rest of your project, so it doesn't chip, so it holds the glaze nicely, and so we can cut a foot rate, Okay? If I want, I can make shapes in it by pushing outward and inward differently than I'm doing there. Or I can make it come out by going like that. I can hold the rib on the outside if I want to shape it. So there are lots of different ways of things we can do to shape it. I can make lines with my thumbnail or a stick tool. That's something you can experiment with. Okay, so now I've got a cylinder. The last thing I want to do is trim that side the end. So I take this and I'm going to hold it like a pencil. And I'm going to brace and I'm going to put this slanty edge right there, go pretty slow, and just slant it into the clay get rid of that clay. Because tomorrow I'm going to cut a foot ring. I'll find out more about that tomorrow. So I cut down to the wheel head there and I'm going to peel this off by taking my pen tool and putting it down. Notice I'm bracing my right hand. Going like that. Pulling it away. And then I'm going to take my stick tool again. This time like a snow plow. If there's any extra clay, I'm going to do that. If you're tricky, you're going to just take a little bit more of clay right out there. Okay, so now I've got a cylinder. You take it off the wheel, then you put water on the bat, and you take a string tool or a wire cutter, and you start, you can move it ever so slowly, and you want to pull some of that water underneath until it's free, okay? And then you're done.